A project to study and analyze how to revitalize the main commercial district of Londonderry's North Village, the stretch from the village market and shopping center facing Route 100 near the intersection with Route 11, and down the main street to the West River and where Route 100 splits off and heads up towards Weston, is underway, led by a team of consultants from the Brattleboro-based Stevens & Company in conjunction with Londonderry's Planning Commission and interested local residents. The study, expected to last over the rest of the year and into next spring, will look at how the village center can leverage some existing assets, like the West River and other waterways that run through town, while looking at how to remedy flooding concerns and a sense that the North Village Center along Main Street could transition into a more walkable, inviting place to stop, shop, and recreate, and maybe live. The project will lay the groundwork for seeking future funding for implementation of the Main Street Master Plan. On Thursday, October 7th, about 30 residents converged on the Neighborhood Connections Office at the Mountain Marketplace Plaza to hear from the consultants and offer some thoughts and ideas. This followed an online Zoom meeting held earlier in the afternoon, which drew a similar number of attendees. Mark Westa, a landscape architect with Stevens & Company, got things started with an overview of the project before turning to the audience for their input. We are here to kind of talk about what we see, what we can map. We're here to try to provide alternatives and ideas. We're here to bring examples from other places. And then beyond that being your community, there are individual property owners that own property. And, you know, that's, in this country, that means a lot. And so we, we, we can't act like we're gonna force people to do anything or, or anything along that line. But what we can try to do is we can try to develop a vision that brings people together that two people can say, you know what, I agree with that. Or oftentimes what I've found is one person wants one thing, one person wants another thing, and they don't see the way that both those things can exist. But sometimes it, through this process, we can sort of almost prove that it can exist. Um, and so I'm, I can't guarantee that like we're gonna get there but that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to create a vision. We're going to try to create enough alternatives that then will become a few alternatives that then sort of become a preferred alternative that then hopefully enough people will be like, I'm on board with that. I want to, I want to help. Under, underestimating the flood aspects of the community. We've had some floods here where you're familiar with the mill and the, the, the furniture in the mill was washed downstream. The water was over the top of the bridge. Yeah. I mean, things were, there were cows running down the, the, the stream. I mean, you're totally, I think this totally underestimates, the FEMA map totally underestimates the volume of floods that we get, the so-called 100-year flood, which happens every five or six years here. Yeah. yeah. You know, our, our, our Main Street section is not as warm and welcoming as it could be. It's full of asphalt and, you know, blacktop. And to have a few more trees and, and not so much more open space, but more green space mm -hmm. would be, I think, a huge enhancement for the overall appeal of our downtown. My yeah. vision of Londonderry proper is, is that it's a ski town. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're at three mountains, four if you count Okimo, that are all very close by. Yeah. Bromley and Magic neither have a real village in their base area. Um, Stratton's is overpriced and far away. Yeah. I mean, I think we could have a real opportunity here, um, not just as a winter town, but if you go to other ski towns, and I mean, Ludlow's a, a decent example. They don't have a village, but they have. They don't have a village at Okimo, but that that town is, has gotten to be pretty robust. Right. After the meeting, we had a chance to talk with both Mark Westa and Sharon Crossman, who chairs the London Dairy Planning Commission. The Planning Commission um, acquired a few new members, and new members had lots of energy and ideas, and they instantly um, aroused the Planning Commission to think about a lot of things that could be happening in town.
And we didn't feel we could actually tackle that without some kind of a plan because we're planners. <laughs> That's what we do. So um, after a lot of those ideas were kind of vetted, and then it was like, well, how do we do this? Um, we made a decision for the planning commission to apply for a grant, which it's eligible for, from the Vermont um, Agency of Commerce and Community Development that issues municipal planning grants on an 18-month rotating basis. Um, they're maxed out at about $25,000, but that's enough for a plan, um, to hire a consultant to do a plan, as we have done, because we were successful in getting the grant. So um, that's how it got into this form. Look at the information, the notes we took. We'll dig into those reports more that people talked about so we understand them again and better. And we'll really focus on starting to create these alternatives, which again are very, you know, we'll, we'll, some of them will be very reasonable and rational and some might be very pie in the sky. And we'll just work through those and we'll, we'll sort through them and we'll probably eliminate some. And then we'll come back to the community and ask them to help us eliminate more. The next meeting for the Main Street Master Plan is likely to be held sometime in early November. For the GNAT-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.